no, no. I was going to describe it. <laughs> stride piano is, is um, it's called stride piano because the left hand strides forwards, backwards and forwards like this. More, more. There he is, there he is. <laughs> So you play a bass note and a chord. Mm. Boogie woogie, you play a repetitive left hand like so. I'm sure you all know what boogie woogie is. Um, that's the difference between stride and boogie woogie. And a couple of people here have asked me to play a stride uh, piece demonstrating the the beauty of stride piano. Here's a number that was written by James P. Johnson in uh, I think it was 19, 1922. He's the guy who wrote the Charleston. Do you remember that one? Yes. Uh, he he wrote this piece called Carolina Shout, and it became the piano player's. If you couldn't play Carolina the Shark, you weren't any good. And I've been trying for 60 years. <laughs> so here it is, the Carolina Shout. Joseph Lamb. We have three ragtime composers who sort of were the famous three. Then we had um, Stride Piano. Uh, we had uh, James P. Johnson, Fats Waller, Willie the Lion Smith. Boogie Woogie, we had Pete Johnson, Albert Ammons, and Meet Love Lewis. So they were, they were in threes. And um, what am I talking about? Anyway, <laughs> music. <laughs> um, You're the only one. 
Bootie Woody, of course, was, was popular in the, uh, it became popular in, in the late 30s uh, when they had the Carnegie Hall concert which featured Pete Johnson, Abbott Ammons, Mead Lux Lewis. Uh, <coughs> that was its heyday. It lasted about five or six years. But after that, there was sort of many commercial recordings of Boogie Woogie. Um, here's one of them, and uh, I'm going to let you guess the title, because I can't remember it. <laughs> now, see, if you, see if you can remember the title.